Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, I wasn't gonna do a video today. In fact, the only camera I have is my phone. But me and Bodie were gonna take a walk on an old woods road that I know of. Karen was on it a couple days ago. And uh, we got up into some really heavy deer sign, jumped a big deer. Uh, had to be a buck, just judging from the size of it by itself. And then uh, we came up onto this hill and Bodie found a scapula, probably from a young deer. You gonna uh, chew that thing all up there, bud? Still had a little bit of meat on it. So I'm letting him play with that. We're in some really good country and I just saw a big pile of fresh moose poo. And we're gonna look around, maybe find some sheds. Back is feeling good. If I can get this guy from being preoccupied with that deer bone. <laughs> there's a lot of deer sign in here, but there's a lot of blackberries that are about two, three feet high, relatively young. You can see on the other side of that rock wall, this was cut, oh, I don't know six, seven years ago, so it's really thick with whippies. This kind of ridge right here just seems like the right kind of place to find a shed. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Wish I had my camera out when we jumped that deer, biggin'. We've climbed up fairly high. I want to hit this ridge here. It drops off. There's a bunch of hemlocks up there. And then that ridge cuts around over that way. It's back over. These two rock walls meet. We're just going to search through those hemlocks. So we find another pile of moose poo, but that doesn't look like a big moose. Hey, what you got? Yeah, lucky dog. Come on, let's find some real bones. The kind that I care about. This boy's never gonna find a shed because all he wants to do is chew on that scalpula. Come on, Bodie, let's go. Man, there is deer sign and moose sign everywhere in here. I gotta find a shed. All right here is what we call moose maple, striped maple. That's a pretty big one. You can see moose strip the bark off eating it. Come on, bring it. We're looking for some other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I just want to chew this thing, Daddy O. You find a shed and tell me about it. I'll come look. <laughs> Where'd your bone go? Well, I know you didn't eat that whole thing. Hey, come here. I think I saw a tick on you. Come, 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 come. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, let me get it. or whatever it is that's on these rocks. Moose droppings. <laughs> you lost your bone, buddy. You had enough of it? Nice bunch of flat rocks. Probably somebody sat on these and Observe the surroundings. Not a bad place to sit during the rifle season. Come on, Bodie, We're going this way. I love these flat, mossy places. I found a ton of sheds on them. 
Uh oh. I think there's a porcupine up in a tree. Yeah. There's a porcupine up in that tree right there. It's the last thing I want Bodhi to uh, get into, so we're gonna move on out. He poses no threat up in that tree, but we don't need to hang around. Come on, Bodhi, let's go up this way. What did you find here? Holy moly, that's a big bone. That's, uh, that's definitely from a moose. I see a coyote uh, scat, leave it. Come on, leave that. That's interesting. Well, we just came upon a big bone. I'm assuming it's moose. What else could it be up here? Um, but all by itself, coyotes scat around it, so the coyotes might have carried it, but there is a ton of moose droppings up here, and I gotta wonder if it's, if that's the moose. Maybe he didn't survive, maybe he got killed by ticks, and the coyotes got him, but we'll keep looking for other bones. Really looking for an antler or two, but just a good exercise hike. There is another porcupine up in a tree. So that's a second one we found. I hope we don't find any on the ground. I got the zapper ready and set on 10. You know, mice and squirrels are probably the main rodents that, uh, that chew up antlers, but porcupines, are also notorious antler eaters. Everybody wants the calcium. So now we've seen two porcupines in this immediate area. If we find some sheds, I wouldn't be surprised if they're pretty well chewed. Well, that's a pretty good rock wall right there. I might have to try to carry that out. We're a long way from the truck. Coming down this rock wall, I'm carrying a bowling ball in my hands. Just jumped another big deer. And then Bodie got down here. And we found a carcass of a, of a deer. Yep. Rib bone, spine. You leave it. Hey, you leave it. There's definitely a lot of deer in this area. I will be hunting here this fall. Well, that has been a good hike. There goes my partner. Uh, we were in some wicked, wicked good sign, uh, but didn't, uh, didn't find any sheds. We did just jump another big deer. Not too far from where we jumped that first deer, but going the same direction, so I'm sure it wasn't the same deer. Good place up in here for a hike, also for a shed hunt, also for some hunting. We'll be back. Thanks for coming along. Peace. There's a pair of them. Man, it's good to be back in the woods.